What is up you guys? Oh my god, it has been a minute since I've filmed. You guys probably wouldn't know that because I just uploaded a video four days ago, but it has been a minute for me to actually film. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Or if you are new here, welcome back. I mean, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Okay, <laughs> how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I am so happy to be back with yet another video. And today, guys, today I am filming a lot. Let me just say that. I'm not going to get too into it. I will get into that maybe like at the end of the video. But um, I am reacting to Maison by Dreamcatcher, second full album which is crazy considering we got their first full album like only two years ago. Um, I already listened to all of the B-sides, did not have time to react to it, but I wanted to just listen to them already because there was just so much going on in my life. And um, I will say that my favorites are definitely Together, Jiu Solo, Cherry, which one was your favorite solo? Let me know. And um, that skit, The Seven Doors, I think it was called. What a beautiful, like, what's it called? Like an interlude? I think that's what it called, like a, it's not an intro, it's not a outro. I think it's called an interlude. Loved that, that sounded so good. I think it's a really like, it was just a really good start to all of the solos. And just, it just gave me like a sense of like, oh my God, they're finally here. These doors have finally opened up. Seven solos, like absolutely insane. I really had no idea that we would get all these solos. Besides Cherry, I will say that I also really, really, really liked Playground by Guyon. I thought it was a great solo and it was fit her so well. If you guys have not already, feel free to subscribe. I would truly appreciate having you guys here. Up to you and like the video if you enjoyed it. Let's get into it and let me shut the hell up. Oh, and also at the time that I'm recording this, I do want to say congrats dreamcatcher on their first win oh my freaking god i'm so proud of them i'm so happy for them i know that insomnias have been going crazy for them i have been so 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 happy for them even though i haven't even listened to the song yet i don't even care i'm just so happy they have been long 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 deserving of this award and you know they've been doing amazing in the past few years especially in terms of like sales and um new fans but that one music show wins it means a lot so i'm just so happy that they finally got it maison in three two one wow Oh my god, this looks insane. This looks like a video game, but also like an apocalyptic, like, end of world type thing. I know that's what the album is based on. I love this hairstyle and hair color on Pluton. Oh my god, she This scenery, oh my freaking god, and Gaia. She's so perfect, she puts every hair style. Isn't this the chorus? They like settle into that really smoothly. The budget of this movie is absolutely... It is prominent. Like, this is beautiful. Uh, I will never get rid of... I, never, I will never get bored of Dami rapping, honestly. Like, her voice was meant to rap. Especially in this group. She's like, it's, this group is perfect. Like a final boss of like an action video game. Oh my god. So even though this is a rock song, it's kind of like it's not like their typical songs, which have like a huge like. You know what I mean? Like this one feels more like smooth. This literally feels like the world is gonna end. Oh, uh, is that Satan? <laughs> so I please vaporize him. I'm 
much is really gonna be for us. This is sick. Holy shit. Um, was that always a part of the song? The La Mesa, La La Mesa? That sounds so good. I feel like I didn't hear it throughout the song at all. This is crazy. I cannot wait to watch the series for this. <laughs> this just sounds like such a incredible song to dance to. Oh my god, what a beautiful ending. Okay, first of all, let me just say that like, I am not someone that really listens to rock guys. I mean, I find myself finding like a lot of rock elements in songs that I listen to. And like, I don't know, like rock oriented instruments very often but i don't actually like rock itself right like western rock especially i don't listen to it especially like the older like 90s 80s i cannot stand rock and roll metal all that stuff i'm sorry if you like it that's i'm so happy for you i know that dreamcatcher really doesn't do metal i'm about to get to a point but like um everyone has their own preferences right and i don't really like it but anyways my point that i was trying to make is like I don't like it, but when it comes to Dreamcatcher, I really freaking like it. I really, really like it. I don't know if it's because it's K-pop, because I love K-pop, <laughs> and I'm also a multi-stan, and I find myself liking, like, all girl groups, if not most of them. I just feel like their music is just so, it's so perfect. It is just, like, it's, like, rock, gothic, anime hopeful i'm just like throwing out the words that i associate with their music because it's just so prominent every single one of their titles and every single one of their titles especially their last comebacks have been very different from one another yet they still have that like same they still have the same elements to them but i feel like they're just getting better and better <laughs> like when i think of my favorite titles from them i would say maybe like hmm fly high Boca, um, Chase Me. These are just like the ones that come to my mind first, right? But I feel like Maison could really be up there. I thought that that was incredible. I thought that was so good from the first listen. I really like that like there wasn't a chorus that like was in your face. I personally like that. Don't get me wrong. Like I actually like choruses to be in my face. They actually like my favorite parts of a song as if you watch my videos i say that like i always just love choruses they leave such an impression on me but this one didn't really have one that like stood out too much just because they smoothed into it so flawlessly but i loved it and i also like that it was unexpected because you are typically expecting that to happen right like to have the break down and just boom like the crazy chorus right i think that their styling was fucking beautiful i really loved how easily they pulled off the concept for this like i can only imagine how beautiful the stage outfits will look like this like ap apocalyptic style theme for this comeback is genius and you cannot have a lot of girl groups that would be able to like hmm no yeah you wouldn't have a lot of girl groups these days that would be able to like pull off a concept actually no i'm wrong I am so wrong because I'm just thinking of all the girl groups that I listen to and I feel like these days girls groups are very versatile and they can pull off everything but what I wanted to say is that like nobody can do this the way Dreamcatcher does like this is their genre like this is theirs you know what I mean especially in their story and their whole lore like this is theirs this is beautiful incredible really I did I want to listen to that again I really love the second Part of the song even more by the way i just love 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 the la maison part and just the bridge with jiu starting it off it just sounded it just sounded like the world was gonna end and i love that tell me what you guys thought about maison tell me what you thought about all the b-sides on this album what were your favorites what stick out what stuck out which is your favorite solo by the members i want to know everything i really hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said at the start if you enjoyed it feel free to like and subscribe whatever you would like to, I would truly appreciate it. It helps out the channel and you know,
that's always nice, right? I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and also I wanted to say, because I said this at the start, but I never got to finish it. My next videos, of course, I'm going to have like reactions to music videos and like albums as I usually do. But I will have a lot of clean dumb content coming out because I have filmed, but I have not been able to post yet. So the timeline might be a little like off. But I'm going to have reactions to the performances and, like, my thoughts on Queendom and everything. It's just, it's going to be a lot and I'm just very excited. But I just wanted to say I'm sorry that's a little late. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.